Sumit Jain, one of India's many TikTok stars with nearly 4 million followers. But his dance with fame could come to an abrupt halt. The Indian government has banned dozens of Chinese-owned apps over apparent security concerns. Now, the list includes the messaging service WeChat and the wildly popular video platform TikTok. The Ministry for Information Technology is saying that they had complaints uh, over risks of data being transferred out of India. New Delhi saying that this is over cyber security concerns. It is also a response to the events that we saw on the border with, uh, in, between India and China along the Himalayas where those clashes left those 20 Indian soldiers dead. A signal we send to the whole world. In one move, we wipe out 59 Chinese apps. A signal that we, the people of India, viewers, we, the people of India, not just the government democratically elected, but we, the people of India, standing behind the government, have the ability to hit China where it hurts. TikTok in India's audience has exceeded YouTube. In India, the download number has exceeded 6.1 billion users. Each year, there are more than 1.2 billion users. On November 30, these Indian users found that they are unable to open the app. The New York Times reports that TikTok has been banned. 全球互联网进一步分裂，受害的是许多像是吉达这样的素人网红。五十四岁的吉达有一百万名粉丝，这为他每个月带来五万卢比，将近七百美元的额外收入，但更多的是成就感。现在，吉达和他的女儿也只能考虑跳槽到其他平台，重新开始。Chinese apps have been shown the door in India, so is Huawei next? In India, Huawei has a big presence, and it's been in the country for almost 20 years. It makes up one third of Bharti Airtel's network and 40 percent of Vodafone Ideas' network. Huawei employs 7,500 people in India. After China, it's the second biggest R&D center in the country. The government has held discussions on India's 5G rollout plans, more specifically on Huawei. The United States argues that Huawei is a threat to national security. Everyone in this room knows that the Chinese Communist Party strong-arms nations to do business with Huawei. An arm of the CCP's surveillance state. Another Chinese company under the scanner is ZTE. The company continues to comply with all data privacy and security requirements under Indian law and have not shared any information of their users with any foreign government, including the Chinese government. 有没有窃取个资已经不重要。印度目前的政治气氛是民族主义高于其他考量。PM Modi has over two lakh followers on Weibo. The government decided. To manually delete all 115 posts from Modi's Weibo account. Now the Chinese will know. Now the Chinese will know that when we want to act, we shall act as we wish, without warning. In India, the market rules. There are more than 450 24-hour TV news channels there, almost all of them privately owned and ratings driven. There has been these TV anchors uh, from Times Now and Republic TV promoting this uh, hashtag to stop buying these Chinese products. But the irony is that some of these TV channels are sponsored by uh, Chinese companies themselves, uh, like Vivo and Hair. So you are promoting this narrative, but then at the same time, you're taking money from these Chinese companies. But the Prime Minister knows this is not the time to fly the flag or talk tough with China, that India is outgunned in this dispute militarily and economically. The last time the two sides came to blows, 45 years ago, their economies were relative equals. China's has since grown into the world's second largest. It's now five times the size of India's, and the subcontinent is reliant on all kinds of Chinese products, right down to the phones and televisions Indians use to get their news. Chinese do not want the border incidents to escalate unwittingly of a reporting on the graphic details of the border incident might well stimulate a very strong nationalistic 
outbursts in China. Round one in this media battle goes to President Xi Jinping and China, and he hasn't said a thing. Narendra Modi should take note, but that's never been his style. Modi Fire If we look at recent satellite imagery, it's it's clear that China has been massively expanding its presence between um, in the disputed area of Pangong Lake. Unlike in the Galawan Valley, they're not tents, they're solid structures. Shi 东北部的洪灾